Welcome to your weekly airplane news update, and this is the week of May 31st, 2021. We get four topics this week. The first one is uh, sad news in Tennessee. There was a crash of a Cessna Citation 501 and uh, killed everybody on board. So we'll talk about uh, the preliminary information. We'll talk about an American airline flight that hit a light pole during taxi, not during flight, uh, during taxi. We have the video and you can see that. We'll talk about a new type of airline seats that's a, a double-decker design and, and can of talk about what that looks like. And then lastly, we'll talk about Embraer that's getting into the urban air mobility business. So let's get to it. First thing this week is out of Smyrna, Tennessee. There was a Cessna Citation 501 that took off and uh, crashed so shortly after taking off. The, the airplane ditched into the Percy Priest Lake about three miles from the airport. They basically took off, made a turn, and then lost radio contact. Uh, you can, if you listen to the audio, uh, you can hear the controller several times asking them, uh, you know, do you copy, do you copy, do you copy? Um, and then eventually realized that the aircraft had gone down. Uh, seven person on board, seven people on board, all presumed dead at this stage. Um, the interesting part from the preliminary information from the NTSB, it looks like uh, nobody on board of the flight was actually qualified to fly the aircraft. It looks like there were two pilots on board. Um, one had an expired medical for one of the pilot, and then the other one was actually not qualified on the, uh, the Citation 501. So um, it'll be interesting to see the final result. The, uh, the audio was interesting because there was never really a, uh, a mayday or, or any kind of emergency. It basically just the aircraft went down and, and that was it. So um, I actually know someone who's uh, flying drones out there to help with the, the rescue team uh, on, uh, on the site. So the next thing this week is an American airline flight that hit a light pole on a taxiway, not, not in flight. The aircraft was headed to the Bahamas and uh, you can see the video right here. The aircraft is looks like kind of cutting, cutting the corner, uh, not really looks like following the lines that are in the ground and uh, basically knocking down that light pole. The wing was damaged. They had to go back to the gate, obviously. No injuries to any passengers and uh, everybody got out on, uh, on a different plane and was able to get to the Bahamas. Next thing is a double-decker airline seat design. And this is really interesting. Uh, this is designed, and you can see the pictures here, to eliminate basically the overhead bins and instead use uh, storage that's under the seat uh, instead of using the overhead bins. But as a result, what they're able to do is they're basically able to uh, lay down the seats a lot more, which will allow for passengers to recline and have more range of motion. It looks a little bit odd, I think mostly because of the, the, the crash test dummy looking people on the pictures. It looks a little bit crammed, but actually if you think about it, it would provide a lot more space. Um, this could be implemented on medium to large format aircraft like a, a Airbus A330 or 747. So it'll be interesting to see if any airlines bite on this design. Uh, this is a design from uh, someone in uh, in the Netherlands, a, a Spanish person who actually lives in the Netherlands and works for uh, TU Delft uh, University in the Netherlands. Next thing, last thing this week is Embraer is getting into the UAM uh, business and UAM is Urban Air Mobility. We've talked about this before and they are starting a separate company called EVE and EVE is their um, eVTOL air taxi uh, company and their goal is to create this um, these aircraft for air taxi purposes. Now you've heard me talk about this before. I think uh, uh, eVTOL and UAM is going to be kind of the next big thing in aviation. Uh, I think it's going to be really interesting to see where we go with this. Uh, a lot of it at the moment is on paper, a lot of testing. Uh, some aircraft manufacturers are actually flying. I think United invested a lot of money into uh, UAM as well. So and is definitely going somewhere. It looks like they already found somebody to actually buy 200 of their EV tolls. Uh, the company is called Halo and they're uh, looking to operate uh, 100 of them in the US and 100 of them in the UK and the delivery is expected for 2026. So somewhat right around the corner. And this is it. This is all I have. Uh, if you're interested in drone stuff, we have the drone news update. This week we talk about some new drones and uh, some other industry updates, I should say. So uh, that's it. Like, subscribe, leave your comments down in here. Always like interacting with you guys. Uh, apologize, my nose is a little bit congested. I think I'm having some severe allergies today, and uh, so I'm not operating 100%. But so if you hear, if I sound a little bit different, it is because I sound a little bit different. So that's all I'm going to say. I will see you guys next week and fly safe.